Hey guys, we're standing outside Suta, which is the first Michelin starred ramen restaurant in the world. This was a must go to on our itinerary. We even woke up 5 a.m. in the morning to get here at 7 to grab our ticket. So, with the ticketing system here at Suta, you get here, you grab the tickets which are allocated at time. So, if you're here first thing in the morning, you actually get to pick the time that you come back for all the ramen. We chose one o'clock. When you pick up your ticket, you actually have to put down a deposit of a thousand yen. That's just so that they know that you're gonna come back. Mm -hmm. And if you don't come back, that a thousand yen is actually refundable. So which is quite good. So then you don't actually have to wait in line all day and you know exactly what time to come back. We actually have waited over five hours for a meal in Japan before. You can watch it up here. Oh yeah, I remember we waited five hours for sushi. <laughs> no, 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 not doing that again. Yeah, so this system here is excellent for that. I think everyone should just adopt it. It's pretty cool. So it's nearly one o'clock. Come with us and we're going to have the first Michelin star ramen. Let's go. So Tsuta only serves around 70 bowls apparently and they open between 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. or when they sell out of ramen. So Tuta is actually really close to the station so you can get here about two minute walk from Sugamo station on the JR line. Oh, we just got some information. Ah. Even though we have tickets you still have to line up. So we just got some information before we enter the restaurant. So some things you should know before coming here. Please line up in a single line. Don't spread your legs. What do you mean don't spread your legs? Oh, I mean like when you're sitting down. I think apparently the inside is really small. They want you to, you know, not take up so much space. Oh. Even they said that if you have a big carry bag, space is limited for your bag. Um, don't take pictures of the kitchen. Try not to block any entrances or emergency exits. So I guess it's pretty tight in there. We're going in! <laughs> Shh. Everyone is eating very quietly in here. So we just had a fantastic lunch at Suta. Those noodles were bomb. So good. Definitely, if you're in Tokyo, make some time and go there. So just one day, wake up early, get your tickets, and don't miss out because it's one hell of a bowl of ramen. Yummy, yummy, yeah, yummy. Yeah. Right now we're on our way to Riku Gien Park to see more autumn leaves. This is one of the top places you'll see autumn leaves. Apparently it's really beautiful. So it's only about a five minute walk from Suta as well. So not that far from the station. Riku Gien. There's this one bridge in the park and we've got to line up to get past it. We're in Roppongi! Just going to do a bit of exploring in Roppongi. Oh, Ichiran. Sorry. Yum. I love Ichiran. <laughs> anyway. So you can see Tokyo Tower from Roppongi. We're at Hari 
Hedgehog Cafe. I've never seen a hedgehog before, so I'm pretty excited. You know who else is a hedgehog? Who? Sonic. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. So there are various animal cafes in Japan. You'll find cat cafes, dog, owl cafes, rabbits, and hedgehog. And we're gonna go check out the hedgehog one today. Harry the Hedgehog. Harry the Hedgehog. We get to choose a hedgehog each, feed it, and to pet it for about an hour. Oh, no sleeping. Except this one. This one's just eating everyone's food. Like this. Oh. Hedgehog likes sleeping, so you cover with hand and he come down and sleeping. Oh, okay. Oh, am I sleeping? Why is the fat like I can feel him breathing on me. This one's the hungry one. What is this one doing? That has a hyper one. That's the hungry one. Mine's the mine's in a food coma now. Lazy one. Look at mine. You're eating the tissue paper. <laughs> Why is your head in your butt? Oh my god, you're still like going for the tissue. You're still wow. going for the tail. You can purchase hedgehog snacks. Wham! So for about 540 yen, we got a little cup of worms. Alright, I'll do one. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, yours is so hungry. You can smell it, you can smell it. Look. Oh, 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 go for it. You see? You see? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. You are hungry. There we go. Um. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it scared me. Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa. Did I drop it? Did I drop it, baby? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Quick, quick, quick. Oh wow! Hey! Pretty good boy! My eye, my one has red eyes. Yeah, it's oh okay. my gosh, it's curling up. <laughs> Dude! It doesn't! <laughs> It's okay. Just be gentle. Yeah, just pick him from the belly. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, you got him. Oh, it's curling. Okay. Oh my god, it's curling up in a ball. Oh, I'm sorry. Waking you up. Yep. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, it's spiky. There you go. Hey buddy. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, he's so sleeping. He's sleeping. You want so white? Wow. Yeah, it's a white one. Is it still sleeping? <laughs> yeah. Once it goes in your palm, it, it goes to sleep. Oh, it is spiky. No, go the other way. That hurts. No, yeah, no. Nah. Ah, oh, you hurt, buddy. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna put you down. <laughs> I think I would have liked to grab that one better. It's really, look how spiky that is, man. Dude, it's so spiky. I'm sorry, buddy. Ow. Oh, it's not looking at you, though. Hmm? It's not looking. What's happening? What's happening? me. Oh. Lordy. Lordy. Oh, Worm dinner. <laughs> it was chewing, he was chewing on my finger. Oh, see? It's so cute, they have all this hedgehog stuffed plushies. Here go. So cute. That was fun. We just left the hedgehog cafe. A totally unique experience. Would you recommend going there? I would. I'd probably recommend going there once. Once, maybe. Yeah, just once. Just to experience it. I did feel bad though because it felt like they were all sleepy. <laughs> and we were disturbing them. 
But when you pick them up, it bit me. Oh yeah, it bit her. <laughs> That's because you guys picked the big ones. I picked the baby one. But yeah, it was fun. I would recommend it. We're still in Roppongi. Right now we're in Tokyo Midtown. So all around Tokyo they set up illumination, so just a bunch of pretty pretty lights everywhere. But the one in Roppongi, Tokyo Midtown is amazing. Let's check it out. So cool. We're gonna head back now. Back to Shinjuku. Back to Shinjuku. We're gonna have dinner now. We are having Coco Curry House. I don't know, I just had an urge to have Japanese curry. It's really cold at the moment, so I'm really looking forward to this. There's so much variety on this menu. So Coco Curry, you can customize your curry. Depending on what you want, you can have beef curry or pork curry. And how much rice you want how spicy you want it, how thick you want the curry to be, and what kind of toppings you want. Got ourselves some light crispy chicken and curry. And I got a tonkatsu, deep fried pork, some fried chicken on the side, and some vegetables, veggie tables with my curry. About to head home and stopped by for some waffles. What flavour did you get? They had a sweet potato one, so I wanted to try it. Ah, oh. so it's a purple sweet potato? Yeah. Oh, slightly purple. Okay. I heat it up for you. Cool. What are you doing? Why do you always take so long in the bathroom? What are you doing? What do you have on your face? Hi. Moi moi. What is it? Panda mask. <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Alright bros on fleek. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Hope you like these face masks. <laughs> I can't really talk properly. So I got Botox. <laughs> if you like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and guys, as always, thanks for watching. Bye! Sayonara!